Hello guys, welcome back. It is so nice to see you again. I am going to add an additional playlist to my channel called Tear It or Repair It. It will include teardown videos of interesting or broken stuff which I will try to repair. You can see at the back a lot of broken IT stuff. Computers like to gain your trust and then die in the most inappropriate time when you need them the most. I hope you will like it, if you do give me a thumbs up or you can even subscribe to my channel, that will make me extremely happy. I will start today with a short video of a MacBook Pro, it is a late 212A1278 model that got its hard drive suddenly missing. As you can see we are stuck here with no hard drive and a sat icon endlessly blinking. This is a common problem for 2011 and 2012 Pre Retina MacBook Pros, uh, the original hard drive cable that connects uh, the drive with the motherboard has short circuited, it uh, has a lot of bends and it is fixed to the chassis with screws, it is uh, not uncommon to defect. To start with you need to get a replacement cable, uh, you can do that on eBay. Uh, it costs around 20 US dollars. Uh, you need to write down the right model number for the cable and get exactly the same because Macs uh, that look identical sometimes uh, have small design changes and even parts uh, that look exactly the same can differ. I will show you where to find the model number after which I will tear this baby apart. That's the one I need for my MacBook today. 821-2049-A, to be sure just write down the model number from the cable that's inside your MacBook. It is a good practice uh, to take a piece of paper and write down the locations where the screws are mounted, that way you won't have to remember their places. This is important in cases where you have multiple screw types. When the cover is removed you have two options, one is to replace the cable here and the other is to install a hard drive or an SSD into this hard drive caddy in place of the original super drive here. There is a third option as well, you can replace both the cable and then add a conventional hard drive into the hard disk caddy and in that way you can have your operating system on a fast uh, SSD drive, such as in my case, and add a conventional drive for storage in the caddy. I'm not gonna do that because I need my optical drive to work with and I will just uh, replace my cable, uh, fit everything back in and see what's what. Have in mind some really important information guys, uh, not in our case but on some cases on some iMacs, Mac Minis and others, uh, replacing the original hard drive with an SSD or a drive not manufactured by Apple could lead to fans spinning at full speed because the cooling system reads sensor information from the drives directly. Those are special drives with Apple friendly firmware, uh, this Apple here printed is not a coincidence, so replacing them is more tricky, I suggest in those cases leaving the original drives inside and installing an SSD on a caddy in place of the optical drive, because the temperature sensor often could be detached from the optical drive and then reattached to the caddy. Uh, you could also try to emulate the signal from the sensors uh, but this could lead to unpredictable results and I do not recommend that. Also for non-Apple SSDs you need to manually enable trim by typing sudo trimforce enable in the terminal. This applies for newer macOS uh, operating system versions only, on earlier ones you need a third party too. I am ready to go, I need to unscrew those uh, screws here to remove the hard drive and I will then detach the cable from the motherboard and from the front LED status light. Thank you. 
this is the old cable uh, nothing really wrong with it visually but it's not working uh, you need this number here to order a new one from eBay or from whatever source you get uh, now another important remark I need to do before I put everything back together be careful if you go for the super drive hard drive caddy swap uh, you will need uh, to detach the Wi-Fi antennas here, uh, the speaker and some more circuitry and if you do not attach them properly later you will have problems. Before I change the cable however the new one comes uh, with those white dotted lines on it. Uh, this is where you need to gently bend the cable to accommodate it into the chassis. Bear in mind the cable is also used uh, to connect uh, the front uh, white status LED and the remote control sensor. Uh, if you need hints on how to bend your cable just look at your old one. I am ready to install the cover of my MacBook Pro guys. If you need to get rid of some dust now it's a good moment to do it. Uh, you can use a canister with compressed air. Just be careful not to damage some fan blades and keep your canister in the upright position. I am ready to test uh, this uh, quick repair. If you like to see more videos of that type you can drop a comment, like the video or subscribe or you can be an awesome human being and do all of those things. Uh, this would mean a lot to me. Uh, with that said guys as you can see it's booting, your eyes are not deceiving you, it works. Uh, I wish you an amazing morning, day or evening. Computer Caveman out.